uh, the power electron is uh, circuit the this circuit handle energy flow level much higher than the individual energy for example you must have seen an ant ant sometime is very small but carries very big object which is much bigger in the size as compared to that ant so similarly this power electronics a uh, component or the power electronic uh, uh, component that can handle more power as compared to individual device rating uh, we will see that is why in the power electronics anywhere you take you required an input you required the output which is connected to the load and you need to control okay this is the basic task for example here we have seen one device is a mosfet irf 4227 okay this is the number and this is a mosfet okay international rectifier <coughs> irf means <coughs> international rectifier is the company according to company this uh, uh, this uh, they give according to standards also <coughs> so this is the number where you can see that this is a simple uh, mosfet you can see the size of the mosfet is a very small actually and power rating of this mosfet is 3 watt power rating how we we, we calculate in a uh, semiconductor device all of you must be knowing na there is a voltage drop or uh, on state voltage drop and the leakage current okay multiply that one you get the power rating of that device actually so the voltage rating you can see here is our 200 volt and current rating is 50 ampere so power electronic rating is 10000 okay that means a 3 watt a 3 watt power rated device can handle 10 kilowatt power and this is called power handling rating this is what power electronics became very very popular that is why in the uh, just uh, jayant baliga who invented the insulated gate bipolar transistor he was a graduate from iit madras and when while he was working in general electric new york he developed that device <coughs> that is insulated gate bipolar transistor so barack uh, obama he gave uh, uh, the highest honor that 10 revol great revolutionaries in this semiconductor ind industries he was given the highest award in america and that that after that the smart grid the concept of smart grid came into picture so for example why we need a control circuit like power electronic switch so power electronic component they are acting like a switch on and off switch one is for example you see we have seen i have given here four circuit the four circuit they do the step down okay for uh, step down the voltage for example it is a first one a circuit is a voltage divider so you just feed the uh, voltage uh, this uh, this voltage is divided v in is divided between r and rl it is divided so output voltage is always less than the input voltage similarly you can have a similar kind of a zener uh, 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 regulator okay where you can regulate the through zener generally zener we put for why we say zener is mainly used for stabilizing the output voltage okay so zener has also like this and it is the voltage is also divided in the same way and you may have a uh, an one transistor 
okay transistor you control the transistor vce and you get uh, the output voltage okay on up on up and average because it is this will require an average rate <coughs> and then we have a switch the s is nothing but a power electronic switch power electronic switch can on and off So if you see this small switch, <coughs> this, uh, and these switches are, uh, these are, these are the actions. And when you see here, we calculate this voltage divider. You see, it is nothing but the first one, it gives a 50% efficiency. And you go to Jenner diode, and that regulator, you will get it is around 45.5% efficiency if you calculate. And similarly, you go to a transistor regulator, you can find out it is around 50% is, uh, this is also 50% is our regulation. Whereas if your switching loss is nearly zero if an ideal switching you have nearly 100 percent efficiency and that is why power electronics although it was invented around 1957 by bell laboratories but it becomes the today if you go to market for buying a ups UPS you can purchase, you go to market, they will tell, sir, IGBT based UPS, sine wave UPS, they say you. So how you get it? That uh, UPS means uninterruptible power supplies. That UPS, like your stabilizer in your home also, that is discrete. UPS is automatically, uh, they can, that will give you the power supply. So, this UPS is, uh, you can see that this gives you a hundred percent, hundred percent efficiency. That is why today people want. You will see a induction motor connecting to DC motor. Induction motor is having, when it is drive as a motor, it is having 60 percent efficiency. And a DC motor, it is also around 50 to 60 percent efficiency at full load and both the thing if you take it is around 50 percent efficiency whereas the small unit can convert and it can give you 100 percent efficiency so that is why it becomes very popular today in the power electronic circuit and uh, there are many applications for example today you are seeing Five star rated refrigeration. How it is possible? It is possible due to the power electronic switch, which controls, which can give you the variable speed. For example, in our IIT partner, we have many generators. They are 500 kVA. So when you turn on the generator, the generator actually consumes 500 kVA even though your load is 1 kVA. If your load is 1 kVA, they consume 500 kVA because your motor is fixed rated. Your generator, the alternator is fixed rated. It's fixed rating, it is rotating. That is why you have to rotate at that speed. But one of why I visited long back to Ontario, uh, the uh, the <coughs> University of uh, Western Ontario I visited long back. I have seen, especially in Canada, in all places, you go to Alaska and those England in that place in Canada, you will find they have also generators, 
बट दो जनरेटर्स आर वेरिएबल स्पीड जनरेटर्स वेरिएबल स्पीड मीन्स दैट वेरिएबल स्पीड जनरेटर कैन गिव यू द वेरिएबल पावर फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू रिक्वाइड फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन योर होम फाइव टॉन ए सी इज कनेक्टेड एंड इट इज फाइव स्टार रेटेड फाइव स्टार रेटेड बीच इट इज एनर्जी इफिशियंट सर्टिफिकेशन सो इफ योर टू पर्सन आर देर दिस विल गिव दैट मच कुल विच विल कंज्यूम बाई टू पर्सन ओनली देर इज ए वेरिएबल स्पीड कॉम्प्रेशन सो दिस रेफ्रिजरेटर वॉट एवर यू आर सींग फाइव स्टार दैट देर इज ए वेरिएबल स्पीड which can vary according to the requirement and space heating today is a biggest thing especially if you go to netherland you will find everywhere there is a heater i was uh, always uh, i always say uh, that in the america also in the many places is every house is completely heated during the uh, special the wind uh, during the snowfall time all the houses they were automated control the space heating condition air conditioning uh, you have uh, today five star means there is a power electronics converter which controls the flow of or the controls the uh, the compressor speed and also today cooking solar cooking starting to solar cooking microwave cooking everything microwave cooking induction cooking heating induction heating everywhere the same power electronics converter we use lightning today you are having dj and dj is also controlled by this a power electronic knob which is called the trick and lighting also like you see big big lights are Uh, in the moisture if you go brindavan garden and you will find the lights are de- dancing how that is possible that is exactly you program in a eprom and put into the system and that gives the pulsating pulse to the power electronic switch with the controls the flow of energy so this is the lightning electronic all pieces uh, they are computer personal computer just to open there is a smps switch mode power supplies which is nothing but this is a power electronic load and all other equipment starting from your mobile you see your size of the mobile as is is, is is very small because of the low very small power supply because of the small power supply your size and weight are small na yeah. so that is why the nowadays you see fast charging in the protocol fast charging means from where it come the fast charging comes from your how much current it flows for charging this so we want more charger more current to flow quickly so that makes fast charging the better nowadays you see big mobiles you purchase now that the pins are very big how because the area increase where your current rating can be increased that is what so charger starting from a small charger in a laptop mobile a mobile to a gigantic aeroplane everywhere you will find this power electronics heating is another thing ventilating central central refrigeration lighting computer ups elevators where every day you travel up and down that is also mainly controlled by this one pumping system big big pumps compressors blowers if you go especially thermal power plant the blowers size is 10 megawatt if you go to indian railway the blower is very very big blowers ha huh? if you that uh, engine comes to the front you see that there are lot of blowers and machine tools starting from lathe machine to robotics to the cnc machine everywhere we use the same power electronic converters arc furnace induction furnace lighting industrial ledgers ledger production is one of the important thing in the industries 
that is also by due to the power electronics and also if you go to nuclear power plant pulse power electronics is utilized and where how it is controlled it is controls the the hydro for example you cannot go to control the nuclear reactions inside the reactor so how it is controlled it is controlled through by the injection of a heavy water d2o this heavy water injection only is controlled because i was working with professor smidley in caltech uh, so professor smidley was working on the same uh, the nuclear fusion reactor converter system so i was also designing the pulse power electronics converter there so i remember we used to have a laser beam and we will put our laser beam exactly the junction of that dry device to turn on as in the device turn on this dto or the heavy water flow starts again if the as soon as the chemical the reaction comes to a certain level it will automatically off okay and there are also induction heating there are welding actually different kind of welding which is only based on the power electronics then in transportation starting from electrical vehicle to traction motors like it uh, indian railway we used to have a dc motor dc series motor but uh, in 1998 india purchased first ac coach from australia uh, which is today also you will find that was run from uh from lucknow to uh lucknow to uh delhi south of the train okay that is was purchased from australia uh, that was the first uh, alternating uh, ac coach uh, battery charger for the electric vehicle and electric locomotive starting from trams everything street cars today trolley buses subways automotive electronic everything is a power electronics converter and today people a uh, lot of high voltage dc transmission system which is nothing but due to the power electronics converter static wire compensation supplementary energy sources like solar photovoltaic fuel cell and energy storage that is the battery management system and induced draft fans okay draft fans boiler feed water pumps aerospace power supply is one of the biggest thing this power supply is one of the biggest power electronics uh, microgrid satellite power system aircraft power system <coughs> in telecommunication battery charger power supplies everywhere we use this thing. so so you see i have already told you this is the ship engine and ship engine you see all are the power electronics converter they are connected today plug in hybrid uh, vehicle where you can plug in to your outlet and there are many applications okay in the power electronics and there today the applications in the especially in the uh, ship board uh, submarines also we have and we have also ship uh, this uh, power system in this uh, big uh, radar system power supplies and uh, the uh, all these uh, and the high speed train is one of the another aspect today what world is looking for so there are many uh, uh, applications in this one and uh, uh, the customers to develop smaller more energy efficient power electronic systems that make an important contribution to reducing global energy consumption and emissions E-mobility is one of the fastest growing markets of the future. 
Semicron's power electronics are used in fast charging stations and in vehicles at the interface between the motor and the battery. Electronics also help to control the output power of drives for long distance and urban electric trains and supply energy to auxiliary units such as lighting, ventilation, and air conditioning systems. largest application area for power electronics can be found in industrial and commercial applications such as motors and electric drives for robots, pumps, fans, cranes and machines. supplies are required for systems that need to be available at all times, such as in data processing centers. Silicon carbide modules are increasingly used in medium and large systems. Renewable energies are our second most important market. For the solar market, in addition to standard modules, we also offer customer-specific solutions. Our customers in the wind market can depend on intelligent power modules in pre-tested units consisting of the power circuit, driver, heatsink, and sensors. So <clears throat> that is why the long back in 2003, think the importance of this power electronic research, Europe started its first center in 2003, and then USA, they've started in 2004. And Tennessee Valley Authority, one of the biggest power unit, where I was also a few days working in that one, Tennessee Valley Authority supplies power to Tennessee State and Mississippi State, North Carolina, and uh, Florida, uh, Florida, then, uh, and then there are five states in America. It is the biggest uh, electric power supply, government power supply unit. And they have started in 1986. And uh, in India also, National Mission on Power Electronics uh, Research was started in 2008, okay. <clears throat> where we had also. And if you see the major uh, IEEE transitions are from for the power electronic only. Only you can see the industrial electronic, smart grid, informate, industrial information, packaging, industry application, power electronic, energy conversion, all these things are the power electronics. And there are many other journals also. So what is a power electronics? Power electronics, whatever you have studied till now, you need to apply to this subject. One is modeling, dynamic modeling, control system, signal system you require to understand power electronics. You need to have a thorough knowledge about microprocessor, microcontroller, digital signal processor, okay? Then we need to learn how to design and package, how beautifully you can make a package. For example, the power supply of this Apple computer. So how beautiful they have designed, packed it, everything. So those type of design is one of the important. With that design, you need to show that there is 
a ventilation where air circulation should take place. So beautifully you need to design. Then you need a power system and power electron, a power uh, electrical machines also is required to understand. And the communication circuit, like you have data communication, data acquisition, microelectronics, VLSI, you need all kind of knowledge to become a good power electronic engineer. And that is what <coughs> this power electronics is an interdisciplinary technology. It is not, uh, if you go to Royal Institute, mechanical students, they study this power electron. All people, they study the power electronic, hydroelectric surface and design. By the civil engineers, they design the layout, leveling, and how the structures will be placed, everything they design. And for that design, they read the power electronic circuits. And this way, this power electronic switches are, are uh, uh, given. So then uh, the electric source, and we have, uh, these are the power electronic uh, switches. And uh, electric, uh, electric uh, uh, loads and then we control. Now, there are many reasons. For example, if you have a DC voltage input six volt and you want this voltage to be 48 volt, You are able to hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So initial days when this power engineer, which you are all are power elect uh, electrical engineer, if the six volt DC is given to you and the current is 10 ampere and I want this voltage to be 48 volt DC and 1.25 ampere, how we can do? So this uh, DC, if uh, it is AC, you can do by using step down transformer or step up transformer. Okay, this is possible. But when you have a DC, how we can do that? So there is this circuit came in long back in 1960 around. And this circuit can convert a DC of six volt to DC of 48 volt. So how it is designed? It was designed initially, 19, it was used in the 1970s by NASA. But later it is justified, the circuit, around 1990, okay. So till that point, people used that circuit, but nobody could able to analyze how it is working. And the NASA's, the solar satellite okay this uh, first uh, sub power supply solar to uh, na, that this satellite was designed based on this circuit so that is why there are uh, uh, the 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 space station is uh, main component is the power supply if power supply is not there then there is no so nasa actually developed this but the circuit analysis other thing came after a long, long time, actually. So the power electronics, we will study AC to DC converter, okay? How to convert from AC signal to DC signal. And also from DC signal to AC signal, 
how we can do. And we also convert from AC to AC signal. How to convert from one AC or the variable fixed AC to variable AC. Uh, that also we will study. And there are also some advanced converters like matrix converter that I, it may take some time. And then we have a DC to DC converters. Okay, DC to DC, how to convert? We will study all these four component consist and a few applications. So we will only if you read a few applications and in your advanced course, when you do PhD or MTech, you will study many things. So rectification, you all know, is nothing but it is convert from AC to DC. This is the bidirectional, okay, and this is a unidirectional, okay. So this is a, your AC to DC converter we will study, and this is called the rectification. And then we have a DC to AC, you have a fixed DC, you want AC. So that also from fixed DC is fixed here. You want an AC alternating current. If you see here, both, okay, this is the alternating in nature. So DC to AC is possible here. And uh, then we have uh, AC to AC converter. You can see that this is a AC and input is also AC, output is also AC. Or you can see that this is nothing but this is some kind of AC signal, okay? Input. Or you can have AC to DC converter and DC to, again, DC to AC converter. So you can have a AC to AC converter. This is also possible, AC AC converter. So this way you, we can, uh -huh, you can see that these are the, and another one is our matrix converter, like matrix switch. And there is a bidirectional switch. It can flow like this. So this is called the matrix converter. This is looks like a matrix switch. It's a matrix converter. And then we have a DC DC converter. You have a unregulated input DC and you have a regulated output DC. So this is what you can see here. This is the unregulated and this is the regulated DC. And we will read in detail actually. And sometime when you use high frequency transformer also, this DC is converted to AC from AC again to DC this way also. It is possible. So this way we have uh, a DC to DC converter. And in this course, uh, final evaluation, final exam is around 40%. Mid semester, if you all are coming here, we will have 20%. And uh, assignment or some kind of project I'll give where it is around 10%. Okay. Because quiz we do not have. Okay. So we have a viva if it is uh, online, uh, we will have vivas for 30%, okay? Uh, which is uh, uh, because um, in the exam, if we give some, uh, it is nearly same answer comes. So I have seen in the last two times. So that is what uh, the vivas, um, vivas, more component. If you are coming here, you will appear in the exam. Okay. When you come here, the uh, structure of uh, evolution will change. Okay. And uh, these, are, these are the books which you will read. And uh, recently, this book has not come to India. But uh, I have, we will procure a few books, uh, six, seven books in our laboratory, but other books are available. Rashid is available and uh, Ned Mohan is available. And uh, this book will come. It will take some few, because just published and uh, it came to Indian market also. 
uh, but uh, one of my friend was telling this book is available in the market nowadays so we will procure few books okay yeah. so power semiconductor we will study some diode uh, other devices from next class and uh, then this was the first research in the mining locomotive and they are the professors in the university of colorado usa so if you see here uh, professor dubey is one of the professors of india they have developed the first mining locomotive actually and uh, uh, professor jk uh, dubey who was a professor in iit kanpur that time he was in colorado university as a visiting professor and he was a, uh, one of the team member in developing the first electric locomotive uh, you can see that converter is such a huge converter and they were driving a small trolley and we also do many research here at uh, iit patna uh, so low cost uh, uh, solar lantern also we can we have designed and some power this solar power conditioner you can see here there is a charger and a modulator and which is supplying and this complete unit was designed by our students only and this is the complete solar energy conversion system and you can see that these are the battery storage and there are a computer for monitoring unit and that is actually uh, very nicely organized and then we have this uh, uh, this uh, the distributed unit and then we have also developed from iot based uh, system where uh, remotely you can monitor all kind of solar plant and solar system portal which is shown here and this is the online monitoring portal because in the villages nobody want to stay so uh, we go there and uh, we install this one and uh, there are also few units which we establish in different place in bihar and uh, one of the places in uh, toypur village in the boisali district another for the 50 houses we supplied there and first above and lower one is around uh, uh, the chitragupta nagar desi solar uh, desi power plant and where you can see that all the villages are lightened by the solar energy only and also we design some intelligent solar tree also just to and then there are also smart home which we are we design uh, for the health monitoring humidity and smart home management this complete home is designed by our students and this is the wireless power transfer where you can without contact you can transfer the power and this way we have designed this electric vehicle also here you can see that this rickshaw is transformed into electric circuit so this one we will read from next class so we stop here okay thank you uh, everyone uh, for joining this one and next class we will uh, complete this little bit advanced uh, part and uh, then we will uh, we will start our class okay after the ppt presentation maybe next class we will finish and after that we will start our regular classroom teaching okay so i have my ipod and i will write all the things so you can also write down easily okay thank you very much